So why is a man with a dream unstoppable? Well, here's the thing. I think it's easy to stop somebody without a dream. So I think to survive in this world, to win in this world, you have to dream big and you have to have the power and the inspiration and the drive behind it because there's so many other factors in this world that make it kind of tough. Let's be real, right? You got so many things going on in the environment. You got all kinds of people around. You might be saying certain things. So it's hard enough to go do the thing that you need to do on an average level. And at the end of the day, if you like have a really big dream, right? You know, you gotta go for that really big dream and you might not quite hit it. On the way up, you might go, wow, holy cow, it required a heck of a lot more effort to hit this really big dream, so I gotta put a lot more effort into getting to the dream and you work harder and harder. So if you're shooting for like, hey, I'm gonna have a good life, you're probably gonna end up with something average. You might as well shoot for the great dream, and then you get there like, wow, I kinda got this great life, but I want this great dream, so I gotta put in more energy, and you're a lot closer to the dream than sitting down here at average. So at the end of the day, it is tough, man. It's hard. You gotta put in the effort, you gotta put in the work. Now, it doesn't mean it's hard, it's impossible, it doesn't mean like it can't be done. It means it requires a lot of persistence, it requires a lot of energy, a lot of focus, and it requires a lot of belief in oneself. So here's what a person with a dream has that most other people don't. You have to develop skill sets that create an undeniable, totally powerful belief that you have within yourself to actually get to the dream. Because if you don't have that belief, it will never come true. Because that belief propels you in the face of somebody saying, hey, you can't do this thing. Somebody knocking down your idea, somebody saying, hey, it was no good, which will happen. So your belief and your certainty in what you're creating and the dream that's pulling you forward, that force has to be so much more powerful than the little comment down here. Pretty soon you're up here and you flick those things away. You flick those little people away, right? Now, there's a lot of great people in the world, but I'm talking about the little people who make those little comments. You flick them. Flick, 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 because they're like little bugs. You got to flick them off. Flick, 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 flick. You get rid of them, and then all of a sudden you're bug free, and you're flying up with your dream, and the only wings are yours. You don't have these little bug wings flying you all these different directions. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to have a dream. You got to make it big. You got to fly with your wings, and your wings have the power. Your wings have the belief. Your wings have the skill. Your wings have the passion. That takes you straight to the top. Other things that are diverting you, such as the comments, the uh, the environment of things that are going on, the news that's telling you the whole world's coming to an end. Yeah, there's problems out there, but a lot of things are exaggerated. A lot of things are said in a way that probably shouldn't be said to people. And a lot of what should be said is, hey, you're great. You're amazing. I see your potential. I see your talent. You're going to do amazing things in the world.